Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 32. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, we're here. Heavyweight series. Number 17, after that we've only got one, two, three, four, five more championships left to do, which will leave till tomorrow, because uh, I'm not doing that now, <laughs> I can't do all of that in one day, uh, but we have uh, this Ninja Kawasaki, we're going to be going around the Twin Ring Mategi circuit, moving on to High Speed Ring, and then the full Grand Valley Speedway. So let's start off with the twin ring. Let's go. Right, here we go. The twin ring Mategi circuit. We are on the Ninja Kawasaki. Kawasaki Ninja. Get it the right way around this time. Here we go. Bikes are really close together, actually. So it gives me a very good chance of overtaking the first one and the other two. Possibly even before we finish the first lap. Look at that. Already well ahead of the uh, opposition now. Nice. Nito Bandito Doritos. I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. Awesome. Here we go, floor it, floor it. Nice. Awesome. We can do a wheelie on this bike as well because there's actually enough power in it. Perfect. I know exactly as well what I'm doing after I've um, finished playing this for the day. Sorting out the thumbnails and then playing Forza Horizon 3 for the first time in three years. It's going to be exciting. I had to uh, spend like a couple of hours just installing it last night because it didn't download quick enough. Um, but yeah, I haven't played that game in three years because I lost the disc. And then I found it. Well, I didn't find it, but like, yeah. I got a um, digital copy for like three quid. It's so cheap on the store right now, literally. Because of the fact that they are taking Forza Horizon 3 off of the store. Um, I don't know why. Because it's not the end of the lifespan of the game. And people are still buying it. But apparently they are. But I already own both of the DLCs anyways, so... Yeah, it was only, like, cheap as hell. Nice. Perfect. Awesome. This bike is so quick compared to the rest of the pack. I think I made a good choice with the Kawasaki. Let's do a little show off. There we go. Very nice. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, come on. Let's get to the finish. Perfect. Look at that. 38 seconds for that final lap. That was a 3.54 lap time. 
awesome. Absolutely amazing. Let's go and get our rewards. And here we go. We got new riding gear, which is awesome. Probably a helmet again. Four helmets. Okay. Well, I was miles off with my guess of a helmet. A Honda CB750F. Ew. Don't like it. Sorry. Just don't like it. Right. What is the next race? Next race is going to be the high speed ring for five laps. So this is going to be around about five and a half minutes. Let's do this. Time to load into the loading screen. Oh yeah. Boom, boom. Awesome. Right. Let's go. Start. Ta-da. And we're off. This has been a good start so far. Coming around to the first corner. We're going to slow down a little bit. Make sure we're in fifth gear. As we go onto the inside of the other bike. What an overtake. Bring it back down. But be careful slowing down and cornering on this thing. The lightweight nature of this bike makes it want to kick out the rear so much. Awesome. Nice. That's very good. Perfect. Nice. Ow, I've just kicked my unit. Ow, that really hurt. I think you might have heard that as well. That was loud. I think as well that is the first time we've hit 200 miles an hour on a bike. That is definitely the first time we've hit 200. Wow. That was a perfect line through there. Awesome. Nice. Oh! We went too far with the wheelie. <laughs> that was insane, though. Perfect. Now. 111.635 201 miles an hour again Perfect I think um Grand Valley Speedway as well has a much longer straight than this track so we might even be able to squeeze out even more than 201 miles an hour from this bike but this is insane superbike territory We got 201, but then it dropped back down to 200 because we literally hit the limiter. So I don't think, even if the straight is longer on Grand Valley, 
I don't think we're going to get a higher speed because of there being a rev limiter. Oh, we are on the grass and we're no longer on the grass. Awesome. Perfect. Nice. Oh, that was close. That was too close for comfort. Okay, let's go to the final lap. A little bit of a wheelie. What's happening? Whoa! That would have been a 160, 170 mile an hour crash there. We managed to just about save it. Impressive. Nice. Time for a wheelie. <laughs> that was the most horrific wheelie ever. I just slammed on the brakes to try and bring it down. Should have known that was going to happen, though. Here we go. We can do it now on the main straight. Look at that. Very good. Six minutes and six seconds for that race. Brilliant. On to the final race, which is going to be Grand Valley Speedway. The track that we haven't stopped mentioning this entire time. But it is such a good track, you can't fault it. You really can't fault it because it is such a nice track. But uh, here we go. Riding gear has been acquired. Thank you very much. We got ourselves the Arai Goth Tracker B. And we got ourselves the Honda CB 1300 Super 4. Okay. Very nice. Very good. Very nice. On to the next one, which is the final event of the Heavyweight Series. And it is the Grand Valley Speedway. For an entire race, an entire five laps around the speedway. I was expecting it to have loaded in by now, so uh, that's why I didn't have anything else to say. Here we go. Let's start. And we're off. Five laps. Grand Valley Speedway. Let's do this. Rubbish. That was a horrific start. Right, let's see. Can we regain that time that we lost? Of course we can. We're not even through four corners yet and we've already caught up. And by the time we go round the fifth corner, the hairpin... We are neck and neck with the other bike. And up to the sixth corner, we've overtaken. Is this class as one corner? I presume it is. Corner number six. Crap. Well, we lost our position. Bit of a tap on the back to say, I'm here, get out of my way. Ooh! 
very quick into turn 11 there. Perfect. We are going to have uh, no tyres by the end of this, guaranteed. But that is in the lead before the end of the lap. Pretty impressive. Come on then, let's do this. Four more laps left to go. Nice. Awesome. The amount of distance that we have gained over the other bikes is insane. Perfect. Very nice. Let's keep these corners flowing as much as possible without any wobbles, preferably. Just imagine how beautiful a Taurus Trophy 2 would look on PS5 hardware. That'd just be amazing. And it would sell. It'd probably do better than Ride, because Ride hasn't been getting very good, uh, a very good reputation. I can't speak. Reputation lately. People haven't been liking the Ride games too much. And to be fair, I don't blame them. Ride itself is a very difficult game to play for someone who has never done bike games before. But this Taurus Trophy is so easy. Like, it is. It is easy to drive. It's not impossible. And that's what I like about it. Nice. Oh, careful. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Do you know, well, one thing I'm really looking forward to with the PS5 hardware is the adaptive triggers, right? Which, from what I've gathered, um, obviously they've said information about it. Um, so the triggers lock, can uh, lock up and change tension. Um, and the locking up mechanism is sort of like, they lock up when, say, weapons jam in Deathloop, the uh, new game that's supposed to be coming out on the PS5 and that. Um, but also, another feature that has been announced from Gran Turismo 7 uh, is ABS. So, when you brake in a car, if you slam on your brakes, just without ABS on, your brakes will lock up, but it will just feel like you're stepping on a brick or something like that. Whereas when you have ABS on, it sort of kicks back the brake pedal. Um, it's ever so slightly, but that is the effect of ABS. It lifts it up so the brakes don't lock. And that is what they're trying to replicate with the left trigger using these adaptive triggers. So they're trying to make it so it kicks back and gives a little shunt every time with the ABS, like how ABS would work. And we fell off. Not great. But I love the idea of that. And obviously Gran Turismo and games like that will take full advantage of it. Obviously a lot of games that are made for both platforms won't have those features as clear as day. Obviously like some games may have it. But I don't see a lot of racing games other than Gran Turismo using it. Imagine if Gran Turismo made an open world game though. Oh my god, that would be perfect. 
They just don't do much um, sort of vehicle customization, so I don't think it works work as well. But Gran Turismo could totally, if they made like an illegal underground racing scene game, they could pull it off. I think they could, because it'd be a complete contrast to anything they do. Unlike Horizon, which is like all professional and yeah, they could do it easily. Whether they will do is another story probably won't happen. We didn't see another tourist trophy, so why would we see a new game come out that's different? Oh, careful. Awesome. Coming up to the final lap now. Awesome. Rear tires are going a little bit orange and the sliding nature of this bike you can definitely tell it's wearing out. You can definitely tell it's starting to wear out. Oh, that was so risky. Difficult to drive with these uh, tires. See how much it slides as you put your foot on the brakes. Nice. No. You just, <laughs> you just see a bike just come flying out of the entrance of the tunnel with no rider on it. And you're like, oh shit, something's happened. Had to go a bit wide there. Let's go finish this off. Oh, drifted. Lovely. Let's get the final victory wheelie. Very nice. And apparently the AI doesn't know how to stop a wheelie. Brilliant. But that was 10 minutes, 23 seconds for that race. Very good. And here we go. We got our reward. Some new riding gear. Lovely. Helmet again. Yep, of course. Didn't expect anything else. And we got ourselves a Honda CB1300 Super 405. Epic. Again, I mean, that's a little bit better because you can, there is body work to it. But I still don't like the design of the front forks where they're exposed. I'm not a great fan of that look. But uh, yeah, that is the Heavyweight Series done. Uh, so next up is going to be the Eurostar, Two Stroke Legend, Nostalgic, and then the TT Classic. And then the final day of recording should be the TT World Series and that should be it done. 
Very nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like